Okay, so let's talk a little bit about text in Photoshop. In this section, we have assignment 18 and 19. For the first one, we're just going to create some text and apply a couple of effects to it. In the second one, we will be adding text to an existing image to create a book or a uh, movie poster. Just remember that these files are 20 points each. You can turn up to five of them for 100 points maximum, although you might want to work with all of them just to get practice. So let's go into Photoshop. I'm going to find my text tool. It's the big T here. And I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to go to File, click on New. And uh, I'm going to use the web preset 800 by 600. This is a small enough file that won't take too much disk space, but it's big enough that we'll be able to play with the text. When we selected the text tool, a new toolbar appeared on top. This text tool will give us the name of the font that we're currently using, the typeface what the font style is, what the size is, and uh, what the alignment of the text will be. Currently it's on left align. A very important part of this tool is this box right here. This will show us the color of the text that we're actually going to be typing. It may be affected by the regular palette in the bottom left of your screen. However, if you want to change and set the text color, you should use this uh, box up here. You can also use the window character that will give you a little bit more information about the text that you're typing. Using this cursor I have a couple of options. The first one would be to just click on the screen and a couple of things happen. First of all I get this floating cursor with a, with a couple of dots in it. This is the text area where I can start typing. Also a new layer has appeared text uh, exists exclusively in layers, at least text that you can go back and edit and I will explain that as, as we go along. It is currently called layer 1, you could change the name of this uh, layer later, however when you start typing, and let me type in sample text, and come back to the layer, you'll see that the layer has been automatically renamed sample text. It will change the name according to what you start typing so that, that later on if you were to add a second piece of text you could always go back and uh, find out where you have been uh, typing so my sample text and the second line are there at this point I can use the move tool and uh, depending on what the uh, active layer is I can then move that text around and this is pretty small text right now um, I don't need this second line, I'm going to delete it. On my sample text, I will double click on the T to select the entirety of the text and I'm going to change this to something larger just so that we can read it a little bit better. At this point, text can behave like graphics and what I mean by that is we could apply a layer style from our menu or effects from our effects menu. I can add a drop shadow if I want to get this a little more distance and size etc click OK just to make it a little bit better looking I'll double click on this and change the color something else I'll make it red another option for using the text tool is to draw a box I'm going to click hold the button and drag across to make a box. Now I have a text box where I can start to type in some text that will stay within the boundaries of the box. If I wanted to change the text I could always double click the T and with the text selected I can make changes to the size of the box and you'll see how the text then will start to flow within the boundaries. kept on typing you can't see it but I can open up the box and you can see the whole text in there we can also draw a line using our pen tool this is the pen tool right above the text tool um, what the pen tool does is it allows us to draw lines I'm going to click here I'm just clicking letting go of the button and I'm going to select a spot somewhere about the middle of the uh, image 
and I'm drawing a semi-horizontal kind of slanted line it's, uh, sloping toward the bottom. I can now go into my text tool. I can now select my text tool so that when I hover on top of this line the cursor suddenly has a curvy line that means that you can click and select any line drawn by the pen tool and you can start typing text. If I click the move tool I can move it around if I want to. I'm going to select the text in the middle. Press Ctrl T and while pressing the shift key I'm going to click and drag to make it smaller and move it out of the way. Double click to accept. I'll come back to the sloping layer move it out of the way and then back again to the pen tool I'm going to draw a couple of points across the graphic first of all I'm clicking and releasing the button and uh, I'm going to plot sort of a sine wave that goes across the image I can do that by clicking and holding the button at about this point I'm pressing shift and dragging the button to the right. I'm now going to find where the imaginary sine wave is going. I'd say somewhere around here. I'm going to click, hold the button, and drag again to the right. And then finally I'm going to find the last point somewhere around over here and just select. It's not a perfect sine wave, but it's a wave nonetheless. I'm going to click on my T, find the uh, line until the line appears within the cursor, and I can start to type. Using the pen tool requires a little bit of practice. Don't be discouraged if at first you don't get a good curve. Uh, as long as you get a curve and text inside of it, and that will satisfy the assignment. There's plenty of things that you can do with text. I'll just do one last example here. I'm going to click right in the middle. I'm going to uh, type the word title center it, select it, and you'll see that we have an extra tool up here called Create Warp Text. I'm going to click on that and we can now select the style. We could uh, select arc and you can see where this is going. This is going to create an arc. You can change the settings to bend uh, in the opposite direction. You can change the percentages of how the distortion is handled. And of course there's plenty of other styles for warping your text. You can create a wave and I need more text if I want to make this a little bit better. You can always double click, come back to your warp text menu and change the style even. So so these are a couple of things that you can do with the text tool. These are a couple of things that you can do with the text tool. In the next video, we will recreate one of the book covers in the next assignment.